Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this cantilever truss using method of joints. In the cantilever truss, we don't have to find any reactions. So straight away we can find the member forces. First we have to take the joint C because in this joint only there are only two unknown forces. We have the member forces in CB and in CD. Also in the point C we have a vertical load 5 kN. In the question this angle is given as 60 degree. We can easily find this angle 90 minus 60 we will get 30. In the joint C first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule there will be only one unknown that is fcd fcd is inclined we have to make fcd vertical to make it vertical we need 30 degree so we have to multiply fcd with cos 30 when we make it vertical it will be acting downwards so fcd should be applied as negative this load is acting downwards so it is also negative Finally for FCD we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FCD is inclined we have to make FCD horizontal. To make it horizontal we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FCD with cos 60. When we make it horizontal it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FBC is acting towards the left side, so it is also negative. We know the value of FCD 5.77 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FCD as negative. So negative into negative, it will become positive. Finally for FBC, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now we have to select the joint D. Because in this joint only there are two unknown forces. In the joint D we have the member forces in DE, DC and in DB. This angle is 60 degree. We can calculate this angle 90 minus 60. We will get 30. So this angle also will be 30 and this angle will be 60. In the joint D also. First we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule there will be only one unknown that is FBD. FBD is inclined we have to make FBD vertical. To make FBD vertical we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FBD with cos 30. When we make it vertical it will be acting upwards so it should be applied as positive. Also, we have to make FCD vertical. To make FCD vertical, we need 30 degree. So, we have to multiply FCD with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So, it also should be applied as positive. Cos 30 is common. We can take it outside and then on the right side. 0 by cos 30, we will get 0. We know the value of FCD. 5.77 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FCD as negative. Finally, for FBD, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FBD horizontal. To make FBD horizontal, we need 60 degree. So, we have to multiply FBD with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FDE is acting towards the left side. So it is also negative. We have to make FCD horizontal. To make FCD horizontal, we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FCD with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So it should be applied as positive. We know the value of FBD 5.77. Let us apply that. Also, we know the value of FCD and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. 
Finally, for FDE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Then we have to take the joint B because in this joint only there are two unknowns. In the joint B, we have the forces in BC, BA, BE, and in BD. Also, we have a vertical load 5 kN. In this joint also, first we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown. We know that these two angles are 60 degree. We can find easily these two angles 90 minus 60. We will get 30. FBE is inclined. We have to make FBE vertical. To make it vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting downwards. So it should be applied as negative. FBD is also inclined. We have to make it vertical. To make FBD vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FBD with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting downwards. So it also must be applied as negative. The load 5 is acting downwards, so it is also negative. We know the value of FBD. Let us apply that. Finally, for FBE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FBE horizontal. To make FBE horizontal, we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FAB is acting towards the left side. So it is also negative. We have to make FBD horizontal. To make FBD horizontal, we need 60 degree. So we have to multiply FBD with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So it should be applied as positive. FBC is acting towards the right side. So it is also positive. Just before we have calculated the value of FBE, which is compressive. So we have to apply FBE as negative. Here already there is negative sign. So negative into negative, it will become positive. We know the value of FBD. Let us apply that. Also we know FBC. Let us apply that. Finally for FAB, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now let us take the joint E. In this joint, we have the member forces in EF, ED, EB and EA. We know that this angle will be 60 degree and this angle will be 30 degree and this angle will be 30 degree. In the joint E, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. Because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown FAE. FAE is inclined. We have to make FAE vertical. To make it vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FAE with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. FBE is inclined. We have to make FBE vertical. To make it vertical, we need 30 degree. So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 30. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it is also positive. Here cos 30 is common. We can take it outside and on the other side. 0 by cos 30, we will get 0. We know the value of FBE, 11.55 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. Finally, for FAE, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FAE horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 60 degree. So, we have to multiply FAE with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So, it is negative. FEF is acting towards the left side. So, it is negative. We have to make FBE horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 60 degree. 
So we have to multiply FBE with the cos 60. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So it should be applied as positive. FDE is acting towards the right side. So it is also positive. Just before we have got the value of FAE, let us apply that. We know the value of FBE. It is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FBE as negative. Also, we know the value of FDE. It is also compressive. So we have to apply FDE as negative. Finally, for FEF, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the member forces. Now, let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then the forces and then the nature of the forces. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.